Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to give you guys yet another update on the Google Nexus 7 tablet. So, in my last video, I just gave you initial impressions, talked about price point, hardware, and software, of course, and what the tablet represents in the marketplace. But today I wanted to show you guys some of the advantages of Jelly Bean. So let's start with the revamped YouTube app. And it's really quite nice. It starts off by giving you a feed, obviously, of all the channels you're subscribed to and you can scroll through that easily but then the cool part is uh, gesture to the right will bring up the list of the actual channels you're subscribed to the ability to add channels jump to your own channel I'm gonna go right into playlist now because I'll give you an example I don't want to delete my digitally digested uh, playlist but it, I'll give you an example of I was almost gonna tell you flash playback but that's just because of how good the quality is here uh, in the new YouTube app that's been designed for the Nexus 7. So let me find an appropriate video for you guys. Um, let's go with the NEX 7 digitally digested. I mean, excuse me, the NEX 5N. Great camera. And as you can see, it starts off in portrait. I'll go ahead and flip the landscape. You can see how loud the speaker is right now. A little bit of buffering. Unfortunately, we can't skip this. Would have taken care of that already if I could have. You can see a lot of fingerprint marks on this since it's been getting a tremendous amount of use. gives you a pretty good idea of the audio quality. Granted, I was using a different camera back then. Uh, my levels are a little bit louder now, new video equipment. But overall, the performance here, uh, both in terms of audio and visual, are really they just blow everything else away. The old YouTube app looks dated compared to this. That's why I wanted to share it with you guys. So new YouTube app, new feel, new look, optimized for tablets, finally outdoes uh, the version for iOS, which frankly it should have taken care of uh, from day one since this is an Android tablet and who owns YouTube? Uh, we all know Google. So this app always should have been uh, superior on Android and it finally is. Uh, so I wanted to point that out. Now let's go ahead and jump home. Of course locked into portrait mode, no landscape for that home screen. And you can rectify that with launchers but that kind of defeats the purpose uh, in my mind of enjoying an Android tablet that's a stock experience which I think is what most people are after with this device although of course there is a very big audience for hacking this tablet because it's so affordable and so powerful but and customizable because it's totally unlocked it's a developer device anyway going off topic the other thing I wanted to show you guys was currents because that is uh, Google's news aggregator basically for all of your different news sources so that you can get every all the information you want in one place so if we go ahead and jump into the Daily Beast here you guys can see there are you know articles that are populating I can you know flip through that look for, look for something of interest here's uh, Mitt Romney his fantastic uh, performance um, you know uh, internationally as of late so let's say we wanted to read this in another language which would make sense if you aren't speaking English you can easily translate with a couple of touches and this is part of the innovation that Google brings to the table that no other company does. So there you go, they've leveraged Google Translate. We now have what should be a relatively working version of Portuguese on all of these articles. Uh, granted, it's you know grammatically, um, and the complete translations probably won't be perfect, but certainly this is beyond innovative, in my opinion. Um, if I wanted to, well, here I went to browse the actual article uh, accidentally, but if I wanted to switch back to English, it's again as simple as single tapping up top and touching English, view original, and you're good to go. Now let's say I wanted to change languages. I would go into settings, translation, and go ahead and select whatever language in this list I prefer. So we could try out Hebrew which should be interesting since we're going to get a whole other set of characters go ahead and just jump back and of course then switch to Hebrew and translate and as you can see now you've got 
And it's really fast. I mean, that's the amazing part. Not that this takes a tremendous amount of power. I think for the Tegra 3, this is easy. You know, if there was any task that wasn't going to be too taxing, I mean, 1080p, 60 frames progressive is what's going to be difficult. So there you have it. Um, I really like what Currents represents. The translation feature is just, like I said, again, beyond innovative, something you'll only see from Google. And this is part of them, you know, the vision of changing what you should expect from your tablet, your smartphone, and eventually your general everyday computing device, whatever it may be. Uh, but Currents, YouTube, good examples of how Jelly Bean is a new, very polished platform. Really enjoying this device. Can't stress it en enough again that you'll be hard pressed to have any buyer's remorse with this so far based on what I've experienced. And uh, soon I'll deliver the full review for you guys. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.